everybody. All right, guys, this is a mitre saw. Come close. Come closer. Closer, closer. Later, you cannot see where I'm showing. So for this mitre saw, okay, is that is that uh, dangerous? But you have a gun, so every time you want to use, it's got no guard, ah. Huh? You see, you just. I cannot press down, you know. But unless I use the safety, when I when I press the trigger the safety, then only can come down. The safety, the safety uh, is come down. Stand, stand here, stand here, stand here. This is the thing. So how I will use it? I put the thing there. I press. Okay. I start. Don't ever do this. Come down, then only start. Start only open safety. Yes. Start only open safety. Two two reasons. Like number one is, uh, can I have your bamboo? Here's your card, yeah. Here or here? Here using right. So once I put, if I if I don't, if I use safety like that and cut, never ever start the saw when the saw is starting on something. You must start the saw when the saw. If you start the saw, when the saw is starting, you start you kick, oh. break the blade, break the bamboo, and might hurt yourself. Don't do that. So remember step one. Firm grip, trigger the safety. Okay, now second thing to cut. How do we see? How do we know we are cutting it right or not? Right? You see how I asked him just now, right? He's marked here. Which part he wants? He wants this part or he wants that part? If he wants this part, then you should put an X here. You're marking, put an X. So because the blade is about 2 mm to 3 mm thick. So you will take off 2 to 3 mm. I mean for bamboo job not so serious, but for carpentry, it's a very serious thing. Like, you need to be accurate, right? But either way still let's practice, you know, the habit of you know cutting the right place that we want it to be. Alright, so to mark, to measure the line, can you see? This is the part I want, right? I make sure the line is the blade thick ma, the line is on this side of the blade. Ah, come and see here. See, when I place it, uh, I, I don't place it this way, I don't place it on top, I make sure it's right next to the line. Over there. Alright, then your cut will, will end there. Uh. Alright? Okay, to cut bamboo, that is to this diameter, easy. Why? Because my half of my blade is as big as this. <coughs> but what about this piece? Definitely, my half blade is not big enough. Right? So this is a different method and smaller diameter is a different method. Let's start with a small diameter first, okay? So first up, you have to understand bamboo is never straight. Right? So whatever cut you do, it's just gonna be aga aga straight, Anila. Right? So I hold, I hold. Can you see? I hold, I push to the corner and I hold this. Alright? Make sure my hand is far away from the blade. Why I push to the corner? Because this is a 90 degree, right? This thing is 90 degree, right? The most stable is this this force towards the 90 degree. So same thing, I'm holding it so it's stable, alright? Non-cylindrical profiles, you could use the clamp lah. Huh? But cylindrical, don't trust the clamp. Sometimes it'll be worse also. If you trust the clamp and the clamp slip, then things slip and then you clip the clamp, the blade, and then the blade will fly or whatever. It goes on. So use your hand. Okay? Hold. Measure ready. <coughs> Don't let go of this hand. Whatever happened to this hand, fly or what, leave it be. Don't let go of your hand. Understood? Never ever let go of your hand. I'm using rubber gloves. So it's still okay for me to wear gloves. Using cotton gloves, take off your gloves. Bare hand better, okay? Understood? Right? So is there another cut here? No. This is the sign later we will try to use this. You use this lah? Like? Okay, now you go grab another piece that needs a cut. So you can practice. Now you can practice. Where's the place you want to cut? Here. 
Yeah, right? You see how it's long? If it's long, get a friend. Where's your group? Now, come. Hold. Hold for him. Hold this. Hold on him. So, you must grip. This is how you measure. Is this exactly where you want it to be? Okay. So, press this side. Press that guy. Ah. Now, you two give me one. Ah. Don't trigger. Ah. Just safety. Ah. Good. Ah. Now, come on. Trigger. Anna. Hey, Anna. Yeah. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. This blade is going to be your hand. Oh. Understand? The blade don't stop, don't move. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Take a few more and practice. Okay. Uh, yours? Yeah. Yeah, put it on. You just don't need to move. You want to start enough. I don't need my gloves. Right? No need. Don't wear your gloves. If it's full cotton, don't wear. Where is your marking? The blade. Okay, measure first. That's the one, right? Okay. Now. Ah, yes. Ah, push it, push it towards like that lah. Because if, I'm, if you do like that, it's not flat, right? Yeah. Like this lah. Ah. Okay, nice. Push it. Ah. Okay, lift up. Squeeze the trigger. Like just now, this one fall. Don't catch on. Leave it. Let it fall. Let it break. It's a problem, huh? Okay. All right. Cheer up. So you see, I just demo a bit, huh? Ngam ngam ah. Okay. If ngam ngam, you're lucky ah. If a bit bigger, this blade won't be able to cut through in one cut. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna demonstrate lah, huh? In case if this is too big, right? The line, right? Again. Right. And move it back again. Just like that, lah. Ah, okay, for big piece. Don't do this. Don't do this, huh? I've got people try to cut and say like you know. Ah, like Hong Kong, don't. Yeah, don't do that. Okay, if it's big piece, alright. You want you can practice some more, right? Don't cut this in, huh? Hey, hey, yeah. Make sure it doesn't move right when you push. Okay, now you cut. Let go. Let go. You climb the the bamboo. All right.